I'd like to thank everyone for attending. In this 30-minute webinar, we're going to learn all the nine essential requirements that are an absolute must-have in order to be successful, to successfully find, manage, and share engineering document, ma document management tools through the enterprise. My name is Craig Schuler. I'm a solution architect with Synergy Software. I've been working with the ED, within the EDM and CAD industry for around 25 years now. I've participated in some of the best and worst customer journeys into document management. And I want to share some experiences with you so you are sure to consider all the important or essential criteria for a successful document management solution. At Synergy Software, our mission is to free you from operational chaos so you can make the difference in the world you want to make. That's why we're committed to delivering simple, powerful document management solutions to provide these benefits to you. We are based out of Pennsylvania with several remote offices, including the one I'm in in the Chicago area. Our Synergy family is very experienced, which benefits more than 50,000 users worldwide. We are a privately held company with no long-term debt or venture capital obligations. And our average employee tenure is more than eight years. Before we start, we'd like to hear from you about your biggest document management challenges. I'm going to launch a poll here. Please give it, take a minute and read the poll questions and fill it out. Okay, we'll give it a couple more, a couple few, a few more seconds. Pretty much everybody has just about answered. Interesting. Okay. We'll go ahead and close the poll, and we'll share the results. As you can see by the poll, interestingly kind of a tie between document control and security and collaboration across departments and sites, both at 30-ish percent, a little higher in the document security and control. Similar to what we've seen in other, uh, other times we've done this survey. Here are our nine essential must-have capabilities for a successful document management system and implementation. Let's start with just the first three. A simple, elegant user interface, finding your files in a fast, easy way, not being able to find your stuff or knowing if you have the latest version is one of the biggest reasons we work with a lot of companies. Also, being able to view, print, and markup documents gives users the ability to access, gives users the ability to access documents without having those native applications. Let's look at how we can do some of these three inside of ADAPT. If I bring up our web client here, we'll talk a little bit about our, de about our desktop client later. Our web interface has been designed to, with a goal to make it easy for all types of users to find files they need fast. Both casual and power users will feel equally at home in the Adept web interface. At the top, you'll see a big box here that allows you to search across all the fields that are in a data card. Below, there's a, a couple of action buttons. There's an upload that will allow a web user to put files back into the system. There's a search that will bring up a search card to allow you to search one or multiple fields. And then there's the last search option which saves the criteria from your last search. Below there, you'll find a favorites and a save searches. These, these two rows make it easy to get to the documents or the information you most frequently use. 
Favorites and saved searches can be shared with different groups of users, enabling you to serve up easy access to the information most relevant to them. If I click on one of those, uh, say job 1284, I can very quickly get a list of the exact documents that I might need to access. On the left hand side you'll see uh, a quick search capability across the top in the upper left hand corner where I can do you know, a single field search or I can also do a full text search. If I just type in the word initial, I'll get a list of results of all the documents that contain the word initial somewhere in their document content. Here, let's real quickly go ahead and view one of these documents, and we'll see where that word is actually in the document inside the viewing technology that's also part of the web interface. So here I can search for that specific word also inside the document. And we find out that the word initial, which was my search criteria, is part of the actual title block. There's also, a, right below the, the full text search that we just did, there's a, a ribbon bar that's always there on the left hand side for easy access. You can access documents maybe using the library browser option. This will give users the ability to access a folder structure that they might be familiar with that you're storing your documents in. I can very easily just kind of drill into the folder structure and get a list of the documents. Once I found the document that I want to look at, I can very easily bring up the data card and I can see different information that might pertain to that document. We can see you know, some document information or maybe approval information or even the thumbnail of the file right here from the, from the data card. Another way that you can create for users to find files is something we call file guide views. This is a Windows folder-like structure based on metadata that can give users the ability to find files based on maybe like the project name and then the discipline. Or they could also switch to maybe wanting to look by job number or state. Lots of different ways to find, thing, find documents in a quick and easy way. Once users have found documents, we showed it earlier, let's take a look at it again, we can very easily highlight a document and we can bring it up in the viewer. The viewing technology built into ADEPT gives you the ability to view over 400 different file formats without having those native applications. You can zoom in and out, turn it off on different layers and blocks, and you can also do markups. A simple, easy way for a user to quickly mark up or comment on a drawing. Let's zoom back and we can see the comment there. Once you've done with that markup, you can easily save it. And now that becomes part of the history of the revision of that document. Let's switch over to the desktop interface now and talk a little bit about that. We see here inside the desktop a ribbon bar across the top. You can customize or configure the ribbon bar to show exactly the commands you want to see for your users. I can, I've configured a really simple one where I can just show maybe just a couple of buttons for a shop or a user out in the field where they just need to search, view the data card, view the document, and maybe that's it. Or we can have you know, additional ones and create them as needed. In the results window you, know, you see here, you see a list of documents. Whenever you select on a document, you're always accessing the latest released version of that document. If you want to see previous versions of the document, then we can turn on the dashboard and we can go to the versions tab and we can see a version or a revision history of the document. When you want to make changes to a document, you can right click on it and you can check it out. At this point, the document is going to get copied to my work area. That's nothing more than a work in progress folder where the, where my, where the work will get put until it's ready to be checked back in. There's also an audit trail tab across the bottom here. This will show you all the events that have ever happened to this document in its life cycle. This can be really important if you're working with any government compliancy or ISO kind of certification, 
All the data here of all these events is reportable, trackable data about what's happening to your documents within your processes. Let's switch back to the PowerPoint now. Let's talk about the next two. Let's talk a little bit about change management and multi-CAD integration. If we switch into the work area here, we can see an engineering change notice that I've created. This was created from a simple template that you can set and specify with whatever content you might want. Here, I'm just going to you know, fill in the originator, and maybe you fill in whatever appropriate fields you need to, and then you can very easily see how this document is going to be related to other documents. Information that we filled into that uh, the spreadsheet form can also become information that's searchable data inside of our data card. We can see the requested name and other field information that's linked or maps between both the data card and the document. We can create relationships between the engineering change notice and the other documents that might correspond, like, for example, the drawing. Now on the where used in the children tab, we can see how these two documents are related together. In the lower left-hand corner, we can see how the, the spreadsheet's related to the drawing. And if we look at the children tab, we'll see what version that drawing is. And on the drawing, on the where used tab, we see how this drawing has been related to a number of other documents, some AutoCAD X references, the engineering change request that we're currently working on, as well as the, a, a PDF drawing. Let's switch over to AutoCAD now and talk a little bit about some of the CAD integration inside of ADEPT. ADEPT integration works inside of multiple CAD applications. I'm showing you here the task pane in just inside of AutoCAD, but we also have integration inside of Inventor and SolidWorks. The task pane is organized in three general areas. Across the top, you have some search tools. In the middle, you have your results section. And then across the bottom, this is the action section where you can see a thumbnail, relationships where used, and also determine what happens to the document when you open it up. I'm going to switch into my work area where I checked out that drawing a little earlier. And I'm going to then just drag that document into AutoCAD because it's already checked out. And now I can make some changes to it. Let's switch into model space, uh, in the, the paper space. Let's just make a quick change here. Switching back into model space. Always zoom extensive drawing before you save it. And now our changes are complete. Go ahead and save that change. And we'll go back into the desktop interface now. And we'll check the drawing in. And we'll make some, you know, see how a workflow can happen. So let's go ahead and check in the drawing. As we check it in, we're going to see an email notification that's going to pop up after our, after Adept scans for any updates to the title block or to the X references. We're going to initiate a workflow process. In this case, an email is automatically going to be sent to the first person or a group of users that need to be notified that this document's in a review state. So now if we look at that document here, we see it's in a state of review. If we look at the workflow tab, we can exactly we can see exactly what steps are the, the, that make up this workflow, and this is where on the CAD manager step. Before we, we review it, let's go ahead and highlight it, and let's uh, open it back up in the viewer. The Adapt Viewing capability gives you the ability to view multiple instances of the same file at the same time. So we're going to see two different tabs appear, along with my red line. And also built in here is a comparison tool. This will overlay the two files on top of each other and give me the ability to see the graphical differences between the files. Once you're ready to approve it, then you can very easily just kind of right-click on the document and say approve. Maybe you want to require a comment. 
And now this document goes to the next step of the workflow where we're waiting for two project managers to approve it. Let's, let's talk about collaboration. The ADEPT publish wave in is an add-on that pr processes singular batch print requests generated by a user or a workflow event. Publish wave can produce hard copies or PDFs in TIFFs or DXF file formats. It produces a high fidelity native application output without the user having to open each file in the native application. With the integrated publishing and printing from ADEPT, from a DEPS controlled environment, you can guarantee that accurate information is released to other departments, contractors, vendors, or customers. Optionally, some of our customers will publish the documents back into a DEPT, so you'll have a PDF record of all the finally approved documents for maybe a project or a submission to a vendor or a contractor. In fact, the publisher tool is a little bit of a Swiss Army knife. Moving on to number seven here, a transmittal is a simple way to package files together with a cover letter. Let's take a look at that. Switching back to my work area, we can very easily create a transmittal. The transmittal generator inside of ADEPT allows you to pick from different transmittal templates that you can create, and you can also you know, use a naming convention for different files. We'll name our, name, our transmittal here, and we'll go ahead and create this cover letter. Once you've created that cover letter, then you can very easily pick maybe a different information about who you're sending this to. We're going to edit it. We're going to specify who we're sending it to, who's our contact at that, at that organization, that vendor or contractor. Notice that we're filling in fields of information. Maybe you want to specify when you want it returned by, and maybe you even want to specify a job. All these fields are controlled by you within, the, within whatever content you need. Once you've created that transmittal, then you can very easily just attach it to other, attach documents to it using the right click here and attach. Then you pick the documents that are, you're going to be sending out. I'm going to send a couple here. And now I've created a relationship or a reference between the transmittal document and those other documents. Let's look at one we've already completed here. If I switch into my transmittal library, we can really easily see you know, transmittal number 16. It has a whole series of documents. And if we view that, we can see a list of the information that was specified when we sent it out. And on the transmittal tab, we can see what who it was sent to, when it was sent, and all the information that corresponded to it. On the Children tab, we can see what version or revision each document was when it was sent out. All this information is searchable, reportable data, so finding a transmittal becomes very easy because everything's related together and available to all users. You're not limited to one user's inbox or mail or, you know, or Outlook to find out who was sent what when. Switching back to the PowerPoint, number eight, ease of administration. ADEP takes a unique approach to how it vaults documents. We call it a wraparound vault because your original folder structure and file names are left intact. ADEP does not rename, encrypt, or move files or folders. ADEP wraps around the folder structure to protect it. At the network level, all of your drive letter mappings and shares are turned off, so users can only access documents through the ADEPT interfaces. You'll get all the security you need while maintaining your intellectual file and folder structure. Why is this important? If your data management server becomes inaccessible for any reason, your admin can easily share relevant files and folders so users can continue to be productive. And because you're retaining your folder structure, the file names 
uh, and any other links you might have to other applications will always continue to work. Let's take a look at a couple of other features of the, the administration of ADEPT. Out of the box, ADEPT gives you the ability to easily bring documents into the system. You can scan multiple files and folders on your network to wrap ADEPT around and protect your documents. And as you synchronize the documents in, you can extract attribute information, properties, document relationships, that ex and document property document relationships that exist between CAD files and also the thumbnails. Let's take a look at how that works. Here we're going to go ahead and open up the library administrator and we're just going to add a, add a new folder. We're going to browse out to Windows and we're just going to bring in the import folder. We might want to specify some information about whether this is going to include full text search or how many uh, revisions we want to track for this folder. And once we've done that, we can just very easily say we want to scan and sync that. ADEPT's going to read all the information that's contained in those documents and scan them in quickly for us, synchronizing any relationships that might exist between CAD files, attributes, uh, properties, uh, and the thumbnails and create those documents inside of ADEPT for us. Once that's completed, it'll give us a little bit of a report telling us how many documents it brought in and what kind of information it extracted from each one of them. Here it is complete, and here's the report. So we just brought in 25 documents, extracting a lot of information from our CAD files, and we imported a couple PDFs. And once we've imported those documents, now we can set security on them in a real easy way. Let's give our sales users some access, our marketing users, and maybe we want to give the CAD managers access too, and sales here. It's really easy to set security. We just kind of specify the group. And we're going to say our CAD managers, they're editors of the documents. And let's say sales, they're going to have, they're going to be viewers. It's just that simple to set up security. Last in our list of nine essential requirements is um, let me go back to my PowerPoint here, is integration with other business systems. ADEPT comes with standard out-of-the-box tools to pass data between ADEPT and other business systems. ADEPT's data importer feature is the most basic way to pass data from other systems to ADEPT but it can require some manual processes. ADEPT's data exporter lets you export multiple data records to an Excel file or export data based on an event, such as a check-in or approve. ADEPT's API can be used to create custom links between ADEPT and other systems. And the ADEPT integrator will make it even easier to integrate ADEPT with other corporate business systems. It'll take care of all the difficult integration and, op and, op and optimize behind the scenes that and minimize cu uh, con customization with the, the integrator tool. Customers all over the world in a variety of industries and company sizes are leveraging ADEPT to drive growth, reduce risk, and gain a competitive advantage. Here's just a few forward-thinking companies that are using ADEPT today in manufacturing. We're working with some of these companies. Here's some companies in the utilities. Process and mining. ETC's consulting engineering firms. And also facilities. We feel Synergis scores very highly on the essentials of engineering document management systems. Please do your homework and investigate. 
here's some of the reasons why we think Synergis does so well. It's simple interface. Uh, it's easy, fast ways to find documents. One version of the truth, the document security, how it can collaborate with others, and its view and markup capabilities. Other benefits is it how it automates the manual processes to improve workflow, how it integrates with additional or with multiple CAD applications and Microsoft Office. It can streamline compliancy, and it's easy to implement and learn and maintain. So what's your next steps after this webinar? If you're ready to go deeper with ADEPT, we suggest you call our toll-free number and ask to talk to our, your account manager. In addition, we recommend that you take time to read one or more of our handouts that are available in the webinar pane. There's a great checklist of requirements that you can use to evaluate and compare capabilities of any potential EDM solution. There's also a short brief title uh, reducing cost with engineering document management that helps you to justify the investment with your solution. You can visit our demo or resource center to view over 40 videos and 20 articles and white papers at synergistsoftware.com. And don't forget to check out our blog, which has over 60 great articles that address trends and topics about engineering and information management industry. As we finish up today, we'd like to conduct another poll. Based on today's webinar, which of the following would be of most interest to you? Okay, just about everybody's answer, a couple more seconds. Okay, we'll go ahead and close the poll and share the results. So we see, uh, again, another tie. Starting to research solutions, are people are happy with their existing solutions, kind of a tie, and then behind that we have actively evaluating solutions. Thanks for that. All right, now I think we're ready for uh, uh, the Q&A section of this presentation. Oops. Uh, so if you have any questions, go ahead and type them into the, the question panel, and I'll be happy to try and answer them. Okay, I see Bill has a question here about the viewer. What file formats does the viewer support? Uh, the viewer supports over 400 different file formats, including DWGs, Inventor files. We have a list of the file formats that it supports on our website. And if you have any questions about that, we, we're always testing different file formats for customers and potential users. So please just reach out to your sales, sales manager or account manager, and we'll be happy to test the, the files or discuss it. We, I see Kevin asked a question about Revit integration. We do work with Revit. Um, our, we have a, something called shared workspace that can work and allow for Revit files th to be set up in a local or in a, a central or a local model way, and the files that are created from that, the Revit, maybe the drawings or other exporter files, can very easily be integrated into and used inside of ADAPT. When will the webinar be available online? Uh, Phil, we probably will get that uh, converted to a, a file and uploaded in the next 24 hours. Can field names, um, field names be customized to match current naming conventions on the current system? Yes, they can. Uh, the data card field names are, are controlled by you. you. There's a designer tool built into ADEPT we teach you how to use, and you can create those fields and name them whatever you want. Uh, plans to make ADEPT cloud-based. ADEPT is a little generic in reference to whether it's a cloud or a local solution. We have customers that have actually configured it in both ways. Uh, so that's kind of a choice of how you want to set it up from an infrastructure perspective. If you wanted to be using it with a cloud resource, you could, or it could be you know, on a local server.
Okay, I've got one more question. Can existing file links from the case be imported? Uh, existing file links from other systems could be imported. Ralph, I don't totally understand that question. We might want to call in and discuss that because I don't know what that system you're referring to is in your question. But we can import links from other systems, yes. Okay then, I want to thank everybody for joining us today. I know your time is busy, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or let us know. Thanks.